In this video, I want to show you an example of how adaptive release can be used to release a piece of content to uh, a student or a group of students based on certain criteria that you place on it. For example, I've just administered music test number two to the entire class. <clears throat> the test was only available from one o'clock till two o'clock in the afternoon and then it automatically closed off. However, as you can see here in the grade center, student number four did not write the test. Now, as the scenario goes, perhaps I've just had student number four contact me in desperation with a valid excuse why they may have missed the test. And so I've decided to give them the opportunity to write that test after all, even though the cutoff time for that test has come and gone. So to do that, you go to the content area where the piece of content, and it could be any piece of content. It could be a learning module that you want to release. But I'm going to release this music test number two to student four. You can see here in the notification that the item is no longer available. It turned off at two o'clock in the afternoon. So in order to release this to student number four, the first thing that I have to do is go in and edit the test options and take off any of the restrictions that I had put on this test regarding the times that it was available. And right here is where I had originally set the test to be available between one o'clock and two o'clock today. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn those off, that time restriction off, and submit. Now, technically, the test is open for everybody in the class. However, when I set it up, I set it up so that each student would have only one submission opportunity, and after that, they would not be able to take the test again. But let's say you had an, an evaluation where you had multiple attempts. Now, technically, it's open up for the entire class to, to attempt that again. So what I want to do next is click the chevron beside test two and click on adaptive release. Now this time I'm going to open that test up for student number four and I'm going to open it up today. You can see in my clock on the calendar it's 3.02 p.m. and I'm going to leave that test open for another hour. You could set whatever time and date and date restrictions that you want there. And I'm going to browse for the membership uh, for who this particular opportunity is going to be available for. The search queue asks me to search in the username for the number four. I know that student four has uh, this as their username, 4444444. So I click the little box beside that student name and say submit. <clears throat> OK, so now student four is the only student identified under membership and the time for this test is going to be from right now until 402 this afternoon. I'm not going to touch anything about the grade system because back in the original test options when I set it up I checked the box to link this test directly to the grade center so I don't have to do anything here with this. The only criteria that I am touching in this adaptive release are the times and that's only after I've taken off the original times in the test options and I've added student number four in the membership group and I'm now going to submit that. Okay. So now if I just quickly log out as myself and log in as student number four and go into the Blackboard course, click on assessments, I will see that there is, stu is test number two ready for student number four to take. Okay. So that's how you use adaptive release to release a particular piece of content to any one or multiple users in your course. Thank you.